with Emmy Witchery here, 12th woman, week 11 in the NFL, and it was a fun one because I was in New Orleans. Yes, I returned to the Dome to watch the Saints beat Seattle 34-19, and let's be honest, Seattle was never even in that game. I was in the Dome with my Boudet crew, and it was a lot of fun. And I even got cotton candy, which never happens, and it was delicious. Kind of funny thing, post-game, Pete Carroll had said something about how great Drew Brees is and how impressed he was with Chris Ivory, and I'm like, Pete Carroll, I'm sorry. Do you not have access to a DVR? Do you not maybe want to watch some of our games before you come down and play us? Whatever, I'll take the win because it was a ton of fun. Minus our kicking situation. Garrett Hartley, I actually went out and did a little research on him to kind of figure out what's going on. And... What better place to research than the bartenders of New Orleans? I'm sorry, who knows more than they do? Okay, I did hear that Garrett Hartley does maybe like to party a little bit. Now, I'm not really sure how true that is, but that's something to consider. And I also heard that maybe he's not in the best shape right now. And that's interesting because when I was watching him during the game, I noticed that from like the waist down, he and I are kind of built the same. I'm sorry, Garrett Hartley, do you have a little bit of a lady body? Is that an issue going on right now? I'm not sure. He also had a new long snapper this weekend, but that was definitely not part of the problem. All right, now, Cowboys win again, congratulations, but guess what? The party's over on Thanksgiving, okay? You're 2-0 under Jason Garrett, but you're still 1-4 before, before all that craziness. So, I mean, don't just get a start over, but congrats again, but the party is over on Thanksgiving. I also did hear through the New Orleans taxi uh, circles that Jerry Jones, when he came to New Orleans recently, wanted to talk to Sean Payton, and I guess Sean Payton wouldn't speak with him. Here's the thing, Jerry Jones, you have the world's biggest balls, and I kind of love that you're all crazy, but... Hold off on your King Cowboy Texas crazy talk because the only time Sean Payton's going to Dallas is for the Thanksgiving game. End of discussion. Okay. We all still are talking about Tony Romo's shoulder because, I don't know, four weeks ago when they got hurt, it said it was going to take six to eight weeks to heal. So four weeks later, they tell us it's still hurt. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of what you said, I don't know, four weeks ago. Why is that even a story? Makes me crazy. ESPN app for iPhones. Okay. <laughs> the Raiders were embarrassed by the Steelers, 35 to 3. But the kind of funny thing about that was that Seymour slapped Roethlisberger. Even better is that after the game, Mike Tomlin talked... All good stuff about Seymour, so I kind of feel like maybe at one point in time, Mike Tomlin wanted to bitch slap Big Bad Rapey Ben as well. Who knows? Okay. Eagles beat the Giants, the Pats beat the Colts, which means both Mannings lost. That totally makes me happy. 49ers got shut out against Tampa Bay at home, which is embarrassing for 49er fans. Sorry dudes, Lance, Ernie, Drew, but the NFC West is a giant shit show and the 49ers are the main attraction. Bad news. Just one again, just barely. Rex Ryan probably had some of his three favorite things happen this weekend. There was a win, then there was a press conference, and then he probably hit up hometown buffet. Go get him, Rex. Okay. The Vikings got beat by Green Bay, and then Childers got fired. So here's the thing. Green Bay, I don't think you need to get anybody fired in Atlanta, but please beat them this week. Thanks so much. Okay. Bills won big this weekend. Thanks a lot to Fred Jackson, who's my total fantasy boyfriend. The Bears beat Miami. Miami didn't even score. Matt Dana, I told you, go be the quarterback of Miami. Duh. Okay, San Diego beat Denver last night, Monday Night Football. Phillip Rivers, um, great game, four touchdowns. You're pretty good, Phillip Rivers, but you're still not Drew Brees. Okay. Now, I know that a lot of people like to talk about how there is some lack of national coverage for the Saints, and I actually have to agree with that in the media, um, ESPN app being one of them, but I don't really care because I know where to go to find all the information that I need. But what I did find interesting on the ESPN app this week was that there was a big old story about Vince Young and his thumb, and he's got a sore thumb. And Vince Young has a sore thumb because he's sucking on it because he's a giant baby. He's like a giant baby trapped in a giant man body. I don't know what's going on. Vince Young, go find your junk and do something with it because you're embarrassing. Okay, that's it for me. I'm Amy Chase. See you guys next week.